What's up guys, it's Mac from Cryptstar, and what if I told you that you could actually be earning 40% APR on your stable coins? Now in this tutorial today, I'm gonna to show you guys the Planet's AUST looping mechanism. They actually created an article here, and I'm gonna walk you guys through it step-by-step, step, show you exactly how you can bridge their AST over to Binance Chain, then leverage it, then go back, and go ahead and go back and forth between the two vaults, and basically get enough leverage so that you can be making 40% APY on your UST. This does come with a little extra risk, and I don't take any liability for this method. However, I'm gonna go ahead and use this method myself, just a little bit to go ahead and leverage and get a little bit of that extra APY on my UST. As usual, if you like this channel and you want to get more amazing DeFi news, make sure to hit that subscribe button and that thumbs up button below. It really helps the channel grow a wider audience and it really increases my motivation to go ahead and bring more amazing DeFi gems to all of you guys. Let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial. In this tutorial, it tells you the first step is to get your AUST. So in order to do that, you head over to the Anchor Protocol website here. And to get AUST, if you didn't realize what AUST is, basically it is UST that is staked. And then you get the AUST and that AUST value slowly goes up over time. The UST value slowly goes down over time. So if you're holding AUST, it's automatically a sort of deflationary asset when you look at it compared to UST. So what you do in order to get that is you go ahead and here about 10, let's say $10. And then when you do that, you'll actually get the UST. There we go. You'll actually get the 10 AUST in your wallet and it'll actually be more like 8 UST probably right now because of the past couple of years, UST to AUST rate has slowly gone down. In order to go ahead and transfer this to the Binance chain, you can go ahead and check out the tutorial here. Your first step is to use the Terra Bridge to bridge your UST to, uh, your AUST to, to the Binance protocol. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to add AUST. So what you do here is you can go ahead and just head over to the website and I'll leave this link in the description. You can copy the AUST smart contract right there and just copy that and then go over here and you can add it here and then it'll pop up. And now it says AUST, right? I want to go ahead and borrow eight from there and just hit next. And so I hit connect and it'll connect me to my website. There we go. Then we can go ahead and do manual payment, estimated fees, just hit next and transfer. Hit confirm. Make sure you have some Luna in your wallet so that way you don't have to worry about uh, the gas fees, which I have Luna in my wallet to pay the gas so that there's no issue here. Now, once that transfer is complete, you're going to head over to the Planets website. And to do this, all you have to do is provide AUST to the vault. But before we do that, I want to make sure that I have a little bit of the, the lending platform. So I want to get some sort of discount, right? And they have levels of discount right here. So tier one, uh, tier two, and tier three. Since I'm going to, since I want to get the highest discount possible, I'm going to go 10% 10, 10 of my assets. So I want to make sure that I have Gamma. Okay, so in order to buy Gamma, I can just go ahead and swap BNB for Gamma. Let's go ahead and swap 0.1, 0. 0 0.103 or some gamma here and this will get me enough gamma to go ahead and get the best lending discount once that's done go back to the portal oh looks like i have to redeem it from the portal first so press this little redeem button then this will actually push the aos2 from the smart contract to your wallet once this is complete we're going to have the gamma and then i think the gamma will automatically give me the discount i think i might have to stake it though so we can go to Gamma and looks like I have 33.13. That should be enough to get the discount. And then add this to MetaMask, add. Okay, so now it's added to my MetaMask. So let's go ahead. You can see it shows me my AUST. So what I can do is go like this and hit max. I can supply the AUST and go ahead and confirm that on my wallet here. Very easy. And now we're gonna go ahead and use it as collateral and confirm that transaction. So this will allow you to use your AUST as collateral on the Planet's website. So now that that's on, we can activate UST to allow for lending. I activated the collateral asset, so now I can actually borrow against myself. Okay, so now you want to go ahead and approve your Gamma into the Gamma Vault, and I think this will get you your discount. So make sure you deposit your Gamma, put it in the pool, and boom. So the transaction confirmed, Gamma is approved. Let's go ahead and refresh this page and go back down to gamma and hit max and then deposit so now i'm depositing the gamma this should get me my discount my 50 percent discount for the collateral from there what i can do is i think i can just go ahead and once this transaction is confirmed go up to the g drama g gamma 
and then go ahead and deposit it here. Refresh the page here. So refresh the page, go to this one, and now it looks like I have 1,656 gigamma. And then I approve that. I go ahead and stake it, confirm. Now you confirm the transaction after you approved it. Hit confirm. You can go to lending, and then you should be able to go ahead and borrow AUST. So I can borrow my UAST, or I can borrow UST here. So let's go ahead and borrow UST, and I can. I don't want to borrow 100%, but I want to just borrow around what, like 75%. I believe is a, is a safe amount because you, you don't think that the price of AUST is going to change too much, right? So let's go ahead and just borrow the AUST here. Hit confirm. Once this is uh, like enabled, then you have to just go ahead and confirm the transaction. Okay, so I went ahead and borrowed five UST. Now let's go ahead and move this back over to my UST wallet, which is over here in the anchor protocol, right? So your total deposit actually went down to zero because you moved your AST out of this wallet. But now we're going to move it back into the wallet. So let's go ahead and move it back. Uh, let's use the Terra bridge from there we can just go ahead and swap from bsc to terra and from there all we have to do is choose the asset ust okay boom max destination address go ahead and just copy your terra address boom copied mine ends with zump <laughs> kind of funny <laughs> go ahead and hit next and receive amount is five is six okay so there's a small fee but it's not that much now from there what happens is you are paying a small you go back here, so it's going to bridge, and while, while it's bridging, I'm going to go back to planets and kind of explain to you what you did again. Basically, we deposited the gamma into the vault up here, and that will earn us sort of compound interest because we deposit it into the compound vault. You can check it out right here. Go to vault, and you can see auto compound. So I went ahead and hit plus, and now I'm in the co auto compound. It looks like I haven't earned anything right now. So I deposited it. Now I have a 50% discount, which actually brings my APY to 20% on this. Whereas before, if you don't have gamma deposited, then you don't get this great discount. It's more like 12%. So you double your APY just by depositing a little bit of gamma into here. Plus I borrowed UST from there to go ahead and sent it and went ahead and sent it back to the Terra. Right now you can see I just sent it there and it's complete. So now I can head back to Anchor and instead of earning the you know $20, I can actually deposit. Okay, so it looks like there was a small fee from using that bridge, probably about three bucks. So I lost a lot of the money just by doing that. If you're doing a large amount of money, I think it's much better, but small amounts, you're going to kind of get destroyed by the fees. This is just for an example for you guys. So now I can just go ahead and, and deposit enough so I can have you know, enough for fees here. Let's go ahead and put in like 80%. And then I can go ahead and deposit that. So there you have it. Now I'm earning 20% on this extra $2 I'm borrowing. Plus, I'm earning the extra percentage on the planet's deposit, the $10 I put in here, right? You're basically earning up to 40%. If I decided to go ahead and just redo this, move the AUST back over to here and redeposit, which I'm not going to do in this tutorial, just basically repeat what we did before. Bridge it using this protocol here, the token bridge, and I'll leave that link in the description. Then bridge it using this contact address for AUST, which is on this website, and I'll leave this in the description as well. And then you can just redo this over and over again, around 75%, 85% collateral, and you have a very low chance of being liquidated. The only way you're going to get liquidated is if the UST protocol fails completely. And in that case, I think you have much bigger issues to worry about uh, when you're going ahead and, you know, doing DeFi is if the UST peg go goes off a lot, then everyone's going to be screwed anyways. That's it for today's tutorial. I hope that helped you out. It's a really, really interesting loop idea and it does require a little bit of leverage but you're kind of leveraging the dollar which is supposed to be pegged to the dollar so you shouldn't have to worry about it too much but anyways again this is not financial advice and you guys do your own research and decide your own risk levels all right guys see you guys in the next video peace out